Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is FPV Wine and today I want to cover 3.5 inch specifically props, but even more specifically, these little grommets here, specifically this little grommet here and how I've only just discovered the Hurricane 3525 props from Gemfan. Wow, I began my 3.5 inch journey with the Crux 35, which is now in a fly fish frame. I've done a couple of videos now covering this is my favorite drone. I get easily get eight minutes flying and that's with aggressive flying. I've got my favorite props on here at the moment, the HQ prop, similar 3.5 times 2.5 by three polycarbonate, 1.5 millimeter. And that is on my Crux 35 frame. And they've been my favorite prop why have they been my favourite prop? Well, the props on there, I don't know whether you can see, but they are higgledy piggledy, probably not good for the esque. I'm probably going to burn the esque out, but I always just bend the props back. They seem to be really good for crashes. Just bend them back. When I first got into having a 3.5 inch, I could only find, because I'm a beginner, I first of all bought these. These are the HQ prop duct. They're for ducted 3.5 inch. So I've had so many people, so many people, I've had a couple of people online be like, you've got that props on your 3.5 inch you got ducted prompts thank you for pointing that out but i started off with those and similarly you can bend them back uh this one's completely trash this one they they've been brilliant for having my gopro on my 3.5 inch 1806 motors these have been brilliant i don't care that they're ducted props i did then go to these they're dull cheap i think packs of eight really bad i haven't had a good experience with these i went out and hit a tree the other day and three of the props had um snapped a fin i guess you call these a fin but they'd snapped a fin off three of them all three i thought it was only one and they just you can't bend them back once they've bent you bend them back it snaps off so i don't know what plastic they're using probably a plastic that's going to deteriorate in minutes not a very good prop not my favorite prop back to it so first of all i started off with the ducted props. I mean, the, the HQ prop has been decent. However, then I managed to get a packet of these. I have two 3.5 inch drones. I've got my Crux 35, which I kind of use as a basher drone. And then I have the current 3.5 inch, which has just made me want to make this video is I'm updating it now with the Gemfan Hurricane props. And specifically, I didn't know, shouts to Scurvy FPV. I didn't know, you see these online, and there's absolutely nothing. Gemma fan, you need to sort this out. So you need to get this out to all your resellers. I, I see this online and I think that they are only for the nut props and not the T-mount. I have specifically T-mount props. However, they do come, double check this, they do come with this little grommet that sticks into this hole. It ends up being like this and that's awesome. It then ends up being a T-mount and I didn't know this. So now I'm just fitting the new props and I pray to God they are as good as the HQ props. I'm gonna find out when they crash whether I can bend this polycarbonate back like I can with my HQ props. These are gem fan and I'm really, really excited. It's, oh, it's constantly raining in the UK, but I'm really excited to get them tested and see how they put up with a bit of bashing around. Uh, this is going to be on my DIY build. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll leave a little link up at the top to check out my first DIY build. It's a couple months ago now. I haven't known about this little grommet thing that goes in these props for five months. So hopefully this video is helping somebody go out and get good 3.5 inch props. Really difficult to get 3.5 inch props. Generally speaking, they're all three, two, and the 3.5 inch is a little bit more difficult to find online. And then these are on the X Nova. 1804 31,000 uh, 4S motors, and these, you, they carry my GoPro, especially with the ducted props that are still on there, they carry the GoPro fine, and it's under 500 grams, and currently I've got my A2 CFC, if you've not seen that video, I'll link it up, A2 CFC, I can fly under 500 grams in built up areas, but not over people. So this with the GoPro on, perfect, absolutely perfect. Under 500 grams, and I'm really excited now to test these bad boys compared to the Dull. Uh, I just installed a fresh set of the Dull, my last set of the Dull props, but just as soon as you crash, they just break off, which is just infuriating. So I'm hoping that these can bend back as easy as my favorite props and my favorite current drone, the HQ prop. These props have been on there for absolutely ages. I mean, that one's been bitten to crap. I don't know if you can see that on, on the camera. It's completely cut away. You just, I just bend them back. I'm sure it's not doing any good for the, the esque, but this this Crux 35, a happy model, one of my favorite brands at the moment. The, the, the longevity on this thing has been amazing. 
Uh, it landed in a tire with water still going. Just brilliant. I had my Mobula 8, plugged that into a 4S when it's only 2S and blew the uh, diodes off it. Still seems to be flying fine. So happy model. If you want to sponsor me, legends, absolutely love your products. Unlike Runcam, this bloody thumb camera lasted two minutes. I've had two of them. Absolute rubbish. Least favorite brand. I put pitch two on my self build. Something in the flight controller does not like pitch two in this one. And every now and again, I'd lose control of it and it would just, there seems to be a lag between throttle control on this one and it writing itself. And there's a few times when I uh, full throttled, sent it and just, it would keep sending. I'd be like, no throttle and it just keep going uh, and then after a couple of seconds it come back so something in the pitching doesn't like pitch two but over pitch two has been fine so i'm really again excited to see these these are pitch 2.5 if you didn't already know it is in the packet description so both of these are 3.5 which is 3.5 inch the pitch is 2.5 inch and the last three i need to look up because i don't actually know i don't know what the last three is i'll have to leave a little look up what it is over the top of me now. So both these props are identical in the fact that they are 2.5 pitch. Really good, 3.5 inch prop. Excited to get testing with these these ones. The other thing that I left out is that the depth in the propeller and the prop, these cine whoop ones were too big. And when I went to Drone Fest, they were just, because the screw wasn't going fully through the propeller, it was just popping off really easy. I'd hit something and it just pop off. So I now have slightly longer i don't know what mil they are maybe eight i've now got eight mil screws to go into the propellers to actually make a good bind with the motors because i've shredded some of my motor um threading on the screws i'm going to refit all the propellers now before we get started if you do like the content please give me a like and a subscribe and if you really really like the content please consider donating to fpvwine at gmail.com and chuck me a coffee which helps so much massive shout outs to fpv scurvy and matthew wait for sending some coffee donations over so thank you guys helps a lot i don't know whether you can see this but i've managed to do props props out originally and i've accidentally done props in with the yellow ones so i now need to swap the yellow ones around Ah, idiot. First grommet I tried before doing this video, really difficult to get in. Second grommet, straight in. Third grommet, really difficult to get in. So I found actually a little tip for anyone is uh, put the grommet, put the grommet on the, um, the motor and then line it up. The third one was so much easier trying to do it with this instead of my fingers and thumbs. Little tip for you that I've just learned. Super fiddly. The grommets are super fiddly and unlike the dull and the, the ones that are made obviously this one's made for the nut one as well the nut one there's gonna be so many comments like it's not the nut one Rob. It's anyway the t-prop one goes straight in nice and snug whereas these ones aren't as snug but obviously you screw them in so it should be pretty safe pretty secure i'm eight months into this hobby and when i first got my set of new props for my crux 35 i took it out and it sounded like an ambulance and i couldn't work out why it sounded like an ambulance and when I got home, I realized, and this is a handy helpful tip for newbies, is that the text is on the top of the prop. And I had, I think it was at least two props the wrong way round. And even after eight months of flying now, this prop here, this prop here is the wrong way round. I was trying to work out why I had the wrong props and I've got one the wrong way round again. Can I do like a with the new props on, all the right way round. If you ever do hear your, your drone making a strange noise, it might be that you put the props on the wrong, wrong way round. I now can't wait for a nice day to go out and test these props. I might even, it's not currently raining, so I might just do a quick test battery, get down the park and test out these new props. I'm so excited. In conclusion, can't recommend the HQ prop props enough they're out of stock at the moment in the uk store that i usually buy from which is typical but did get these ones and i'm really excited once it's not raining to get these tested and i'll do a follow-up video about getting these ones tested in the field see how they are if you have any questions suggestions or anything that you'd like me to cover in a future video leave me a comment thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next video hopefully this helped somebody out there with 3.5 inch props because I just wish I knew about the dang grommets on these ones. Uh, I know that SP FPV Scurvy or Scurvy FPV did say about the 3.6 inch which you can put on 
uh, but I wanted just to stick with the 3.5 inch for now, but you can get 3.6 inch gem fans that should fit a 3.5 inch build. It just gives that extra small amount in between the prop and your um, frame, but I'm, I'm happy with 3.5. I'm gonna test these, really excited. A few moments later. I've got one, ba one pack, it's gonna last me four minutes. So I'm gonna test out, see how the one pack does on the new props. Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna do pinching. Got to mention that part. No, oh, it feels weird. Oh yeah, it's really wet as well. It makes a it's a weird pitch noise. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, <laughs> pinching so hard. Oh my goodness, keep going left. I think it's actually raining a little bit, that's annoying. Oh, pinching is so difficult. One pack, pinching. Right, I'm gonna go thumbs. That was tough. One pack on the fingers is not the best idea. <laughs> These props are feeling good. Three minutes on the battery with a GoPro. Not bad. Whoa, that was close. Four minutes, battery's nearly gone. I'm gonna be a bit naughty and run it down a little bit lower than I usually would. Yeah, I like these props, they're good. We're at four and a half minutes flight time. I'm gonna try and make it to five minutes. Really push this battery. We got till 3.5, that was 13.5. We're at 13.8, it's getting close. Yeah, it's probably a good time to bring it back. I wonder if I can do a skid stop. I've never tried to do a skid stop. Oh, skid stop. Let's go. That was amazing. Happy with that. So those are the new props. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. And we've got the finger camera going as well. One pack. One pack on a horribly crappy evening in the UK. Disgusting weather. At least it's not raining, but it is moist out here. Hope you enjoyed that.